So if you are building AI ML projects, you have probably run into the same ball as I did. Should you train your models on a laptop GPU or push everything to the cloud? I've been there. I started all my experiments local, then moved everything to the cloud, then swung back again. Every time I thought I had the answer, something broke. Either my budget, my hardware, or my patience. But after months of trial and error, running LLMs, fine-tuning, testing deep learning models, pushing entire ML pipelines back and forth, I finally cracked a system that actually works. A workflow where local and cloud doesn't fight each other, they complement each other. One that saves me time, cut cost, and still let me scale whenever I need it. And the funny part, the whole reason really boils down to just three key things I had to learn the hard way. But here's the twist, the approach I use every single day is not the obvious one. And in fact, once you see it, it might completely flip how you think about choosing a laptop or a cloud for your AI ML project. With your laptop, the cost feels like zero. You have already bought it. You can open it up anytime, no credit card, no waiting. But here's the catch, your GPU can overheat, throttle or flat out crash when you push it too far. The cloud feels magical powerful GPUs in minutes, running way faster than your laptop ever could. But every time the meter's running, 5 hours of training might feel like a blink, until the bills show up. So which one is actually smarter for you? And that's actually what we are going to break down today in this video. And the best place to start is right where you are already are, your laptop. Is what makes your laptop so powerful for AI work, it's always there. You don't need to wait for servers to boot up or worry about the billing dashboards. If inspiration hits you at midnight, you just open your laptop, write a few lines of code and test your idea. Instant feedback, instant control. This makes laptop perfect for small datasets or prototyping. Basically testing out ideas quickly before committing to long training runs. Think training on CNNs or MNIST digits, fine tuning our smaller models like the digital bird or running pre-processing steps. Your laptop eats that for breakfast. But here's the problem. Laptop GPUs usually come with limited VRAM. Some have 4GB, maybe 8GB if you're lucky. Compare that to cloud GPUs with 40, 80 or even 96GB of VRAM. Once you hit those memory limits, your training either slows down to a crawl or doesn't even start. That's when frustration kicks in. And let's not forget, laptops aren't built for 12 hours training sessions. Overheating causes thermal throttling, your GPU slows itself down to avoid damage, you can literally watch your training times double just because your laptop is getting too hot. So how do you squeeze more out of your laptop before throwing in the towel? You have got some tricks. Use mixed precision training, basically half precision math that uses less memory and speed things up. Lower your batch size so your GPU can fit more data into the VRAM or offload certain tasks like data pre-processing to your CPU. Little tweaks like these can make your laptop feel way more capable than it looks on paper. But let's be real, when your models get bigger than your laptop's memory, no tricks will save you. And that's when it's time to look at the cloud. So let's talk about the cloud. Imagine this, you have a model that takes 10 hours to train on your laptop. On the cloud, the same job finishes in just 45 minutes. That's not just faster, it's a difference between testing a one idea per day and testing 10. That's the beauty of cloud GPUs. You get access to high-end hardwares like the NVIDIA A100, V100, or even cluster of multiple GPUs without dropping thousands of dollars up front. And since most of providers charges by hour, you are only paying for what you use. It feels like a cheat code unlimited power on demand. But here's the downside and it's the big one. One long experiment and you lose off $10, a whole week of training and suddenly you are starting at a $300 bill. Forget to shut down your instance overnight. That's an expensive mistake. And then there's the setup pain. Uploading data sets, installing dependencies, configuring environments, plus you have tied to your internet connection. Lose Wi-Fi, your whole run might die right there. So how do you actually make cloud affordable? Here's the trick. Use spot instances. These are discounted GPUs the provider can reclaim at any time. They are way cheaper sometimes, 70-80% to of the price. The trade-off? They can shut down without warning. But if you save checkpoints, you can just start where you left off and still save ton of money. So no, cloud isn't always better than your laptop. It's better when your model is too big or too slow locally. Think of it like a decision checklist. Number 1. Data size plus model complexity A small dataset or simple model, laptop can easily handle it. Large dataset or transformer level models, you need the cloud. Number 2. Budget Laptop is equal to free to run after you buy it. Cloud is equal to every hour cost money. Number 3. Experiment frequency If you are training daily, cloud cost add up. Laptops save you in the long run. Number 4. And the last, not all laptops are equal. VRAM, cooling, SSD speed, and even CPU power can change your experience dramatically. 
when you step back you realize it's really laptop or cloud the best strategy is a mix of both and that's where the hybrid approach comes in. here's a secret you don't have to choose you can use both smartly think of your laptop as your sketchpad it's where you try ideas build prototypes and get quick feedbacks then once you have got something worth scaling you hand it off to the cloud that way you don't waste time waiting locally and you don't waste money on the cloud for experiment that might not even work tools like google collab and kegel are perfect for medium scale experiment free gpus simple setup for serious workloads you have got services like the paper space lambda labs or aws with powerful gpus and if you are clever you can automate it set up scripts that pushes heavy jobs to the cloud when your gpu maxes out the hybrid strategy doesn't just save your money save your time your hardware and your sanity so let's put some real numbers on it on a laptop gpu training a mid-sized models might take 6 to 12 hours cost zero because you have already bought the laptop but the hidden cost is your time you're waiting half of the day for results on a cloud gpu that same training might take up 30 to 60 minutes that's a huge speed up but you will pay 5 to 20 dollars per run do that 10 times and you have spent 200 dollars so which is better if you run only one experiment the cloud is better if you are running dozens of experiments every week the laptop saves your money if you are smart you can balance both now before you go all in here are the three biggest mistakes you should avoid number one overloading laptops people try to train massive models locally and end up overheating throttling or even hardware damage Number 2. Overspending too much on cloud Renting the biggest GPU for tiny tasks, running instances overnight by mistake. Number 3. Ignoring hybrid setup Thinking it's laptop or cloud when the truth is the smarter approach is blending both. If you avoid these mistakes, your workflow will be faster, cheaper and way more reliable. So here's your checklist for tomorrow. Number 1. Laptop versus cloud Datasets plus quick tests is equal to laptop and large models plus long runs is equal to cloud. Number 2. Hybrid workflow. Start local, scale to the cloud then after. Number 3. Optimize smartly. On laptops, use mixed precision technique plus smaller batch sizes. On the cloud, spot instances plus checkpointing. Number 4. Plan ahead. Know your datasets, know your model and estimate your runs before you start. Follow this and you won't just save hours and dollars, you will actually enjoy building AI and stop fighting your hardware. Now I want to hear from you, which setup do you use, laptop or cloud or a mix of both? Drop a comment below and I would love to hear about your workflow and any tips you have discovered. By the way, I've also added Amazon's best buying link down below in the description box to the laptop I would actually buy if I was starting AI ML today. The one that balances GPU power and the most important important the price also i put together a cheat sheet to help you optimize your workflow whether you are sticking to a laptop going all into the cloud or doing the hybrid approach grab it now and make your experiment faster smoother and cheaper remember choosing the right setup isn't just about raw power it's about working smarter saving money and getting results without burning through your budget and hey if this video gave you clarity drop a like subscribe and tell me in the comments what setup are you using right now so thanks for watching and as always stay awesome i will see you in the next one